I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. What's going on, everybody? All my brothers and sisters around the world. My title says, I'm in God's curve, not President Obama's curve, but I am in God's curve. Y'all see what's going on now. Now, yesterday we talked about government shutdown, and then part two we talked about the government wants you to depend on them for everything. Now, this is why I want to come with this part three video, and y'all, this is heavy. I mean, very heavy on my heart. My phone been ringing off the hook this morning. Text messages, phone ringing, family members worried and scared and all this old crazy stuff. And I'm just sitting back laughing. And I want to say this off top. This is a prime example on how most Christians, your family members, your brothers, your sisters, your church buildings, this is a prime example how the whole world is going to pretty much whore after the Antichrist. Government. Oh, government. Go back to the Old Testament and look at what the government did. My phone got a mighty blowing up, blowing up hard. Man, this is a blessing. This is the time to jump on it. It's just like the mark of the beast. The ones who don't want to suffer are going to run to the Antichrist, the mark of the beast. Because if you can't buy, if you can't sell, if you can't trade, if you can't do nothing, how are you going to survive? This is a prime example. See, this is a test. Hmm. And you look, if you really look at it, look at how many, look at how many Christians are running scared. Well, they're going to penalize us if we don't. So what? Penalize the hell out of me. Penalize me. This go to show you once again. This is this is not even a a fourth of what's gonna happen later on if we are left her if we are living in those times when it hit real hard, you ain't gonna make it. I'm having a deep conversation with my big brother. I say if you ain't read Revelation, if you ain't went through Daniel, we can't have this conversation. If you ain't went back to Ezekiel, the Old Testament, the New Testament, it's hard for me to have this conversation with you. He was going on and on about how we need to pretty much depend on the government. And I said, this is Satan's plan. All Satan is sitting back clapping his hands, and he loved the fact that everybody jumping on my side now. Hmm. So when I go back to the word of God and then in my own life, I'm not in President Obama's curve, but I'm in God's curve. I am in God's curve. Well, man, we need this stuff. Same way you're going to run to the Antichrist. You're already running. The setup is already here. Now do you see what this NWO is all about? This new world order is all about depending on not the Lord, but man, the government, whoever got all the money, the power. It's time. I, I feel my brother P.P. P. Drawings in this video. It's time now. Who who you going to stand for? Mm. See, what are these people at with these rapture doctrines now? As we are left around, it gets worse and worse. It's time now to see who's going to stand. Who's waiting to get snatched away ahead of time? Not me. I'm standing bold right now. Not on my own, but the Lord in me. I'm ready to suffer. Who's going to suffer? Christ did. His followers did. I'm in God's care. Man, they might they might do something crazy to you. Man, your own family do something crazy to you. Things are about to change, my brothers and sisters. They are changing. 
my 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 uh my boy the other day say things about to change for all of us, man. Obama finna make it right. See, I'm tired of folks putting their trust and all their faith in the president, the governor. When are you gonna start believing in God? Is the question. Oh, this part three. I'm close. I'm closing. This is gonna be my last video on this type of stuff here for a while, I should say. It's time to figure out who, who who's gonna be who, who you serving. People that have quit believing in God, and I hate that. I hate that. This is how the devil slides in, so easy. See, if we was to been following God like the Bible told us, and not the government, wouldn't be no need for no Obama's care. My brother said, you know how many Christians going to die, brother, if they don't get this? Look at the old people. Look at the children who need help. Do you know how many people going to die if they don't get the Obamacare? I said, do you know how many people have already died before the Obamacare? Do you know how many people going to die with the Obamacare? It's time to wake the hell up, people. Let me ask you something. What can the Obama's curse do for you that God can't do for you? Mm. That's why I say it's hard to have a conversation with me about stuff like this if you ain't read the Bible. See, I tie everything back in with the Word of God. I have these real talk videos like this, but if you want to hear some straight up scriptures, we can sit down and go through from Genesis to Revelation. Cause see everything starts back to the beginning. Go all the way back to the beginning. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. This this reminds me so much of the mark of the beast, PP John. I, I gotta say that again, brother. If you don't take the mark, if you don't accept the Antichrist, you will suffer, you will die. And look at how many people finna run out and get the Obama's curve because they scared to get penalized. Scared of dying? Let me tell you something. I done been sick plenty of times in my life. I'm talking about a real sick, near-death experience. Heart problems, you name it. And I didn't have no type of Obama's curve. I had God's curve who pulled me all the way through and put me back to normal. And here go the thing I like about the PB Joy. I ain't even have to pay a dime. All I had to do was have faith. My faith ain't in no government. The government ain't doing nothing but robbing the hell out of folks. Who you serving? The mark, when you go to the Revelation and read about the mark of the beast, most Christians will tell you don't even worry about that because you won't even be here. Fools, you are here right now. Yeah, I said fools that do this stuff. You are here right now and living in these times and seeing this stuff with your own eyes. You still talking about I ain't going to be persecuted. I ain't going to suffer. <laughs> well, let's see how bold you are right now. Don't don't accept the Obamacare if you so bold. And, and Come on. Somebody talk to me this morning. I need this video to go nationwide, worldwide. Let me go deliver this message in front of the White House. Somebody going to shoot me. I ain't scared. Welcome to the Bible. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to end times, my brothers and sisters. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is America. This is what we are living in. Who are you going to follow? I got to keep saying that in this video. All this flying away teaching. I don't want to suffer. Let me fly out here and get an escape route. You go right on ahead. See, some of these people ain't talking about no rapture date no more. They ain't talking about this this secret escape because they starting to see now what's really going on. Every time you cut on the news, it's something wicked. Let me get a little bit deep. Cause I, I, I really want to talk to a lot of Christians in this video. The ones who don't never want to 
here by persecution. Just want to secret way out when Jesus went through it all. So you will even suffer for my name, greater for my name's sake. You will suffer, you will struggle. Trials and tribulations, it rains on the just as well as the unjust. Why in the hell is you trying to get out of here at time? Let it rain on me, Father God. Anything don't kill me or make me better, make me stronger. And even if it do kill me, it's going to make me better. It's going to make me stronger because if you kill me, you just have to be cross on over in the paradise. Let me cross on over in the glory. It'll be way better than living in this old jacked up mess here. But God got me around for a reason. Got you around for a reason. I'm trying to I'm trying to throw some truth out here, y'all. I know people don't want to hear stuff like this. Maybe maybe I can get two or three of y'all attention in this video. People, look at what's going on. Same man who agreed with same-sex marriage is throwing you a health care plan. Same man who goes against God's word is throwing you a health care plan. And that same man is, 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 is pretty much telling you if you don't buy this plan, accept this plan, you will be penalized. Everybody ran out and voted for Obama because he's black. Not everybody, y'all forgive me for that. But most black people, man, we gonna have a black president. Now you sitting up crying, daddy. Most of y'all I know personally. Now, now y'all sitting up crying, talking about we need to get that nigga out the office. Oh, now he a nigga. Now you want him out the office because things ain't lining up and things ain't happening the way you thought it was gonna happen. Now, I say this out of love. I don't dislike the man. I love him. I believe he's very intelligent, got a beautiful family. If, if President Obama ever see this video, I don't dislike him. I just don't agree with what he got going on. And the Bible teaches me. Now, I don't know what Bible everybody else read. The Bible say you pray for your leaders. You follow along, but... Listen to me close. If your leaders go against the word of God, you don't play along with that. So I cannot follow somebody that's going against God's word. I don't care what color they are. Black, red, Chinese, I don't care. If you are not following God's word, I cannot play a part of what you got going on. Did, now y'all see why I keep saying when Revelation teaches you about the systems the hills and mountains what you think that mean in the Bible governments what do we think John was talking about in Revelation the beasts what it's going to bow down to who's going to give power to the Antichrist Satan Satan got a lot of people on this side, y'all. And if you if you can't accept, let me say it right. If you can't get it in your mind right now to start rejecting these things that's coming towards you for you to accept everything, every new thing that come out, accept this from the government. If you can't if you can't reject it right now, you might as well just say, I'm gonna go ahead and take the mark of the beast. Because you're not gonna make it. And I'm talking about most church folks. We got to get it. We got to get it, man. That's why he said when you be offered up, you don't open up your mouth to say nothing. The Holy Spirit will speak through you. We got something to go through, y'all, whether you like it or not. Let me ask you a question. What did the government really do in the Bible for children of God. Y'all leave me some feedback down there. What did they do? People have left God alone and trying to replace God with the government. 
But what did they do? What did the government do for people in the Bible, really? Children of God. Let me let me let me break it down and, and come to the New Testament. Or the New Covenant, we like to say. What did the governor do for Jesus? Oh, I'm talking about our Savior. Hmm. Oh, we know what the Romans oh, come on, y'all. Who walking with me in this video? What did the governor do to Jesus? Go back to Pilate. Yeah, go back to the king. Go even in the Old Testament. Go back to King Nebuchadnezzar, or Nebuchadnezzar, or however you want to pronounce it. Go back to the Book of Daniel. But focus with me right quick on the New Testament. What did they do to Jesus? I'm talking about the governor, them Roman governors. They sentenced Jesus to death. America has been killing America for a long time. I'm in God's care, not Obama's care. When I was rushed in the hospital, not knowing what had happened to me, that last time, I had a bad heart. Y'all yeah, notice I said had. This is what I was diagnosed with, a bad heart. Heart was failing. They say maybe we need to put a pacemaker in there. Maybe we need to do this. Maybe we need to do that. We can't figure it out. I was rushed in there. Ten doctors, eleven doctors around me. And out of all them doctors, they still scratching their head like this. It just don't make sense, Mr. Thompson. Yeah, it makes sense. Because I was in God's curve. God touched my body. Well, I'm about to get, boy, I tell you. Y'all, man, y'all don't understand. I get teary-eyed when I think about that last time I was in the hospital. This was last year. Around this same time. Same month. I was in the hospital fighting for my life. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Fighting for my life. And God, my creator, my heavenly father, my provider, pulled me out. I didn't have to sign no papers. I didn't have to worry about this and worry about that. He said, my son, you are healed. Get up out that bed. Go home. I got some more work for you to do. It just got personal with me in this video. That's the Lord I serve. God healed me. All the way. All the way. And I've been in God's care. Don't even need no payment plan. My healer. My savior. I got the best health insurance already. I got eternal life waiting on me. So I know I already got to leave this. And you got to leave it too. So if Obama got a better health care than God, he must be God. I can't fly with that. Brother Minnie Man and PP Drawings and, and Sister Lady D. God bless y'all. All of y'all. God bless all of y'all. We've been talking about this. Man, I, Minnie Man, I miss blog talk so much, brother. I miss it so much. We've been talking about this stuff for a long time. People think the government is not in the Bible. People think America is not in the Bible, but it's all over the Bible. It might not flat out say America. You talked about Babylon, man. We've been talking about this stuff a long time. And PP Drawings, like you just said in that comment, it's time now, brother, to see who's finna stand. Yeah. Each year it gets worse and worse, don't it? Each day it gets worse and worse. So I'm not worried about no Obama's curve. I'm in God's curve. As I close. I'm trying, y'all. Y'all just feel me in this video. My heart heavy right about now. When you go back to Jesus, Jesus was turned over 
to the governor. They turned him over. He didn't do nothing wrong at all. And they put him on the cross. Didn't even want to let him go. They said, give us Barabbas. Kill Jesus. Crucify the one who loved, who taught, who forgave, who healed. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? The governor, the governor, crucify him. He's not who he say he is. And right now, people still want the governor to rule. But a time is coming, woo, hallelujah, when every knee shall bow, every tongue must confess that he is Lord. They knew Jesus was innocent. Jesus stood before the governor. How many of us are going to stand before the governor? Or are we ready to stand for the Antichrist? Jesus stood before the governor. See, you can miss me with all this secret stuff. What are we going to stand for? It's too many coward Christians. It's too many weak, watered-down, bootleg coward preachers out here. God don't need no cowards on this team. Don't need that. Jesus stood before the governor. Bold. Bold. Are we going to take that stand? So if the governor back then <laughs> didn't do nothing for Jesus, and here we is, these thousands and thousands of years later, and the government ain't been doing nothing but robbing you. Why in the hell would you accept from the governor? And I'll leave y'all with that. May God bless you. May God keep you. Take care.